ignition did just occur. Uh, you can see it there on your screen. Uh, a slight delay on the video feed, but you will hear the callouts uh, as they come up. Uh, this burn itself is going to last for about 15 seconds, and it has just shut down. Uh, looks to be good right there. And then we have a landing burn coming up uh, in about a minute from now. Uh, that landing burn lasting just to touch down uh, for about 30 seconds. Uh, so you're going to see it uh, come right into landing zone one, uh, stage one there. Uh, meanwhile, on your right side of your screen, you can see stage two. Uh, the stage two burn is going to last for about another two minutes. Uh, continues to look perform very well. Uh, that stage two engine can, has pretty deep throttle capability. It can go from about 81,000 pounds to 210,000 pounds. That's how we target that precision orbit. Uh, we put in a parking orbit of 200 by 600 kilometers. Uh, that's all good there. Meanwhile, stage one is transonic right now, uh, transitioning through the speed of sound as it's coming back to Earth and everything is looking good to go. Okay, so you've got some footage there of the booster as it comes back down. We're waiting for the landing burn to begin very soon. It was cloudy on takeoff, so we are expecting some clouds as we re-enter. So we really hope to be able to bring uh, some really good footage uh, as it comes back down to landing zone one, which is a, on ground. It's not one of our drone ships. And you can see it descending there with the landing zone in the background. It's amazing to think of what's happening. That is coming back from space with live footage. <laughs> It is approaching the landing zone now. Landing zone. Yeah. Yeah. Looks like uh, the clouds are just beginning to break there, uh, making for a pretty picture-perfect landing. Uh, no video from the ground like we'd expected earlier, but uh, we did get great video all the way down. Uh, so uh, right now, the second stage looks like it's also proceeding normally. The primary mission today is, of course, to bring the international, uh, the Dragon to the International Space Station. And all, by all accounts, it looks like it's going very well right now.